Hi, I'm Adam from EnglishAcon.com and in today's video we're going to look at uh, the Z layer tab for Construct 2. Um, so let's open up Construct 2 and you may be met by this page. If you have a start page please come up to the start page tab and click on the cross to close it. If you don't that's fine. Now if you go to file, go to new, left click on um, empty project or double left click on it. If you just select it and click on open it should open a new project. Now to navigate through your layout if you use the middle mouse button to move or use the scroll bars to move if you hold down control and scroll back and forward you can zoom in and zoom out to get a better view of your layout. For this example we're going to create two actually we're going to create three um, sprites so if I double click or if I right click I'll go to cancel or if I right click and click on insert new objects and then select an object I want to insert I'm going to choose a sprite and then click on insert. I'm going to insert that into where I next select in the uh, layout. So let's just click anywhere. And now I'm going to click on this brush here and I'm going to create some sort of shape. In this case, I'm going to draw a red blob and it's going to create a red blob sprite. I'm then going to do the same thing again. I'm going to go to right click, insert new object, click on the sprite, click on insert, click somewhere in my layout and I'm going to draw a green blob like this. I'm going to name these two. I'm going to click on the red blob, click on name in the project's properties, type in red blob. Now I've named that red blob and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to call this green blob. And I'm then going to create a new one by right clicking and clicking on clone object. I'm creating this slightly differently to how I, uh, I just created the other two, but it's pretty much the same thing. I'm then going to double click on this and this is just to show you other things you can do that's the whole reason I'm using clone instead of insert new object so double click on this and then I'm going to use blue and make this a bluey green blob I'm then going to come over here and call this blue blob so I've got three different sprites you'll notice that if I put one sprite above the other depending on the order of creation that um, they cover the other ones and this is basically what Z order is so if you would imagine that these are sheets of paper and if I throw them on the floor in a certain pile that the one on the top gets seen before the one on the bottom um, the one on the bottom has a Z order of 0 the next one has a Z order of 1 the next one has a Z order of 2 so the higher the Z order the, the closer it is to the camera in a, in a way and it's um, seen first before the other ones and this is how you can block off other images so to see the Z panel, because you can't see it at the moment because I've disabled it, um, normally you can't see it until you come up here to view and then click on Z order bar, so you click on it and now it's visible with the sprites for that layer. If you click on the Z order, drag it to the right, uh, this image should appear and then select the middle one and let go of dragging it to the middle one, it appears as a tab under the projects bar or next to it. Now. If you notice the three objects here on the right, they have a number next to them, and that is their Z order. Above that, they have the layer in which they're positioned. Now, depending on the Z order, depends on the order which is seen first when they're when you are looking at them. So, for example, if I right-click on blob, the red blob here, and let's see, if I were to just simply drag it up above the blue, now the red blob appears above the blue. Similarly, if I get the green blob and drag that above the red blob, then um, it's now above the red blob. So this ordering here dictates which order you see first, but you'll notice that the numbers haven't actually changed. Also, if I go to the Layers tab, if you haven't got the Layers tab, make sure you've, you can see the Layers tab by going up to View and clicking on Layers. And then if I add a new layer, if I click on the, the, blue, sorry, the blue blob here, come over here to the left, where it says layer 0 and now select the new layer now this is on a layer above the other two sprites if I come back to the Z order on the right and click anywhere on the screen um, you'll see that it's actually given the order in which these appear and place the blue blob on layer 1 now this tells you again which um, this is a second tier as it were to Z ordering in that a layer above another layer is seen before the layers below and an object above another object is seen before the layers below. Um, alternatively, I can right click, let's say, I can right click on the red blob, I can go to Z order, I can send to the top layer. Now, this sends it to the top 
of its current layer, so in this case it sends it to above the green blob, or if I right click on the object and then I click on send to bottom layer, I can send it to the bottom, or if I right click and go to Z order and go to edit Z order, it comes to this tab on the right where I can just drag these objects around. Um, notice however, dis despite which order these are in, because the blue blob is on a different layer, if I were to left click on the red blob and then click on Z order, move to the top layer, it doesn't move it above the blue um, blob because the blue blob is on a layer above it, it's an actual different layer, not a Z order layer. Um, also, if I were to separate these, if I were to just click on the green blob, you'll notice that the Z order layer changes and it's got the green blob there. It tells you um, which objects are within this bordered radius. So if I were to move this green blob over to the to where the black um, box, sorry, black, I'm talking about, where the, the blue blob has its box, its bounding box around it, then it appears in the Z order when I select the green. And likewise, if I move the green over to the red, then the red appears in this order. So the Z order bar here tells you um, what is behind the object which you have selected. So if I move this green blob between these two, so that's touching both of them, you'll see that they both appear in the Z order. This helps you keep track of which is on top of which object within, within and restrains their layers and helps you to create your game because um, you can use it to create very nice effects by having one layer block the other layer. That's basically what the Z order is. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe if you like the videos and the series. Please like this video by clicking the like button at the bottom of this video if you like it. If you have any questions or queries, please leave a comment. 